It was a very busy day on the island of Sodor, as all of the engines were getting ready for the railway inspector's visit. At Halfstead Castle, the Earl was on the phone with the fat controller. Don't worry, Sir Topham. Everything's under control. Who are you talking to on the phone, sir? I was talking to Sir Topham. He wants the whole island to look its best for those railway inspectors to arrive. What are our jobs for today, then? Glyn, you and Neil shut the coaches away into the sidings. Yes, sir. You two were not on us, sir. And Stephen, you must go to the dinosaur park to find some trucks that are left there. I need to travel in Billy to check on the progress around the castle grounds. Without that, these railway inspectors will close down our railway. Oh no! They mustn't close down our railway. It's very special. And this is the only castle on the whole island to have rails inside. Don't worry, Stephen. I'm sure you, Glenn and Neil will work extra hard today. As soon as the inspectors arrive, I will hand out our railway certificate. The Fat Controller has sent Toby to bring the inspectors up to our castle. We must get everything ready in time. As the engines started their work, everything ran like clockwork. Stephen went around the dinosaur park looking for empty trucks. And Glyn and Neil were shunting coaches in the yards. Neil was feeling neglected and unloved. Things were better run in the good old days. Back then, things ran like clockwork. Well, what's wrong with that, Neil? Oh, Glyn, I was just remembering the good old days when trucks were trucks and engines were engines. <sighs> Those were grand at the times we had, Glyn. Well, if you want to talk about the old days, why don't we do that on our break, Neil? I guess so, Glyn. Meanwhile, Toby was trundling along the main line. The railway inspectors were on board Henrietta. And then, there was trouble. Oh no! Toby, why have we stopped? We're going to be very late now. Uh, I'm sorry, inspectors. Farmer McCall's sheep are blocking the line. We should probably wait for Farmer McCall to herd his sheep back to their field. That takes ages. How despicable. Back at the castle, Glenn and Neil were on their break as they watched Stephen pull the trucks that were left in the dinosaur park. So, Glenn, what were you saying? Aren't we supposed to talk about the old days during our break? Oh, yes. The good old days. In the 1850s. I used to travel along with the open tracks and smoke was puffing proudly out of our tunnel. Each year I travel up, there's always a new horizon. Wow. I had trouble climbing hills back in my heyday. I always thought you were one of the most unusual engines there is. The coffee pots were unusual too, Glyn. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, my lad. I was one of the unusual engines. But I'm not the box engine I used to be. And this is a song of how Neil was a new and a young engine. Be shiny paint is faded and my wheels were all frayed. He found all of me like it's broken near the walkie kind of way. I used to be pride of the life, the ancient to be. But now, nothing happens to me. I remember the days I used to be fine. I remember the way. My paper used to shine Now you can see Nothing happens to me Glenn was amazed. He had listened to Neil's song about the good old days. 
I never knew. But you're still really useful, Neil. Nice of you to say so, Glyn. But let's face it, I wouldn't really be missed at Alfred Castle. But shouldn't we be getting ready for the safety inspection? Neil is right, Glyn. Back to work, you two. Your break is over. You better hurry or else the inspector's will close our line. All right, Millie. Suit yourself. Come on, Glyn. We must hurry to get the job done. At last, Farmer McColl returned and guided his sheep back to their field. OK, Toby. The track's all clear now. Thank you, Farmer McColl. About time. Finally. Hmm. Don't worry, Dorita. The sooner we get to Ulfstead Castle, the better. Meanwhile, Stephen was at Lord Callan's castle. He was making sure it was ready for the inspector's visit. Are you sure this'll work, Stephen? Yes. i better get back to my own castle now. Cheerio! When Stephen came to the castle junction, he saw a nasty surprise! <gasps> oh dear! Here comes Toby with the railway inspectors! What should I do? i better get back to Alfstead Castle before he does! So Stephen took a shortcut so he could be ahead of Toby. Back at the castle, Lynn and Neil were on the castle edge when they saw Toby going up the hill. Who's that tram engine that's going to our castle? That must be Toby with the railway inspectors. They'll see us hiding from up here. What would we be hiding for, Glyn? We're very old engines, Neil. If they see us, they'll turn us into scrap. Don't be silly, you two. The railway inspectors come for a good reason. To make sure everything is safe for all of us to be working in the castle grounds. Really? So, we don't have to hide from being scrapped? Of course. They'll be amazed to see that you two are very old engines, and you still work for the Earl. Toby's on his way now with the railway inspectors. He should be here any minute now. I've made it before Toby. Stephen, how did you get here so quickly? I took a shortcut. Just then, Toby arrived at the estate railway. The railway inspectors climbed out of Henrietta as they saw the Earl's engines arriving. <gasps> oh no! What's wrong, sir? I forgot to give them the railway certificate for all the hard work we had over the past years. Don't worry, sir. I know where it is. Oh, I left it in my office. Take me as quick as you can, dear. Right you are, Sir Robert. Where did Neil go, Stephen? The Earl left his railway certificate in his office, so Neil took him back inside the castle to fetch it. I hope he hurries up. The inspectors are waiting. Neil took the Earl back into the castle, and he hurried to his office to grab the certificate. When they returned, Toby and the inspectors were still waiting. Don't worry, inspectors. He'll be back any minute with the railway certificate. I'm here. I've got the railway certificate. Hand it over, Sir Robert, this instant. Hmm. It's OK, inspectors. I have the official railway certificate right here. But at least I can rely on Neil to remember things. Thank you, sir. Does this mean we're not getting scrapped, sir? Of course not. I shan't allow any of my engines to be cut up. Well, I suppose I am a useful engine after all. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to Millie's advice, the railway safety inspection went perfectly. And Neil and Glenn realised the estate's railway just wouldn't be the same without them. Hello, Neil. How are you handling your passenger trips around the castle? Very well, thanks. 
just not the good old days. <laughs> this railway just wouldn't be the same without us. If we were still forgotten. <laughs> You're right, my lad. <laughs> <laughs>